Hi, my name's Arthur Florence. I'm a trumpet player in Townsville, North Queensland. I've had quite a few students talk to me about the last post and ask me how to play it. And we've spent quite a few lessons going through the last post and interpreting the rhythms and the phrasing. So I thought I'd put together a quick video just to show you how I do it and then to break it up into sections so you can practice stop, rewind, stop, rewind and just get a, get a good idea of how to do it. The last post is played differently by everyone but the first step is to get the notes and the rhythms right. Hopefully this will help you. Firstly, I should point out that this isn't the studio and by no means is this a professional recording. So if it distorts or whatever, this is for educational purposes, okay? So that's the last post, top to tail. I fluffed one little note, that's part of it. Um, if this was a professional recording, then I'd go through and I'd just get it just right. But Hopefully that gives you an idea of how, to, how the whole thing goes. Now let's break it up into little sections. So I'm looking at the music. The first line is really a good spot. Okay, so I'll just play that first line. issues that my students have had is moving from the G, the C and the E cleanly. So if you're having trouble with that, break it down like this. And then add the C to it, slur and tongue, C, G, C, E, and back down again. So I'll play, you play. So you get the idea. Now let's add a little bit of rhythm to that.
Excellent. Now let's play that first section together. anything about that section that you want to redo by all means rewind and redo it I'll move on to the next section some of the issues my students have had is being able to pick that E cleanly E, G, E, C. So those are the, the three intervals that I'm going to look at. Let's just start by E, G, E, G. I'll play, you play. Let's go E, G, E, C, G. Let's play that section together. Again, if there are issues that you're having still there, for example, the G, E, C, G, E, C, run that a couple of times. What we'll do now is play the first and second sections together. section this is the body of the piece really so this third section goes for yeah two and a bit lines I'll play that section now Let's workshop some of that now. So I'm looking from where I started. I'll play actually just the piece, the, the fragments of the piece. I'll play, you play. One more time.
All right, moving right along. I'll play that the next little phrase. It sounds very similar to what we've played previously. Your turn. And then the last phrase of the body of the piece. How did you go? All right, now let's play the entirety of that third section. It's starting towards the end of the second line on the G, just above the staff. Da, da, ti, da, pa, 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 that section there. How'd you go? Did you make it all the way through? All right, let's move on to the fourth section. This is really quite short. And then the fifth section takes us through to the end of the piece. We have played this before, so I won't spend a great deal of time on it. By that, I mean it's occurred previously in the piece. I'll just play it now. One more time. And moving on from here on in, I'll just play through to the end. It's, um, by now I'm sure you've got the hang of it. This is what I call it. The, th the fifth section. Have a go at that one. All right. I will workshop just a little part of that, that last section. It's G E C G E C G G G G. I'll play. You play just that little bit.
Okay, let's play that last section together now. That's the end. All right. If you have any questions, by all means, I think ask your local teachers, look up uh, other recordings. Um, hopefully, that gives you some insight. I'll play it one more time, the whole piece from top to bottom. Play along if you like, now that we've, we've worked on each section. Let's do it. Excellent. I hope that's helped and uh, I'll see you all on the 25th of April on my driveway at 5.55. Happy practicing and lest we forget.